Hello dear fans, friends and subscribers. Welcome to this very very exciting daily cricket show with your host Ram on Cricket Happenings. Well dear friends and subscribers, we had an interesting day uh, on a Saturday uh, as far as the Cricket Happening show is concerned. In the Indian Premier League, we saw two beautiful matches that happened. One which went all the way down to the wire where the rising Pune Super Giants uh, put it across the Sunrisers Hyderabad who suffered their first loss of this Indian Premier League 2017. And the man who did it was MS Dhoni and it was a welcome return to form for him. Took his time but when it came for the final fling, MS Dhoni was there till the last delivery when he sent, uh, sent that last ball from Siddharth call when two runs were needed of the final delivery. He, he actually stroked it for a beautiful boundary and that was the end of the uh, first SRF. So Sunrise and Hyderabad suffering their first loss of the Indian Premier League 2017 and their rising Pune Super Giants rose a bit in the IPL 2017. It was also said welcome return to form for MS Dhoni who has been struggling in this tournament. As far as the second match was concerned, it was Mumbai Indians uh, taking on the Delhi Daredevils at the Wankade Stadium in Mumbai. It was a packed, the, 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 crowd, the, the ground was packed to capacity being the weekend on a Saturday night. And I can say it was Saturday night fever at the um, at Wankade Stadium in Mumbai as um, the Mumbai Indians uh, definitely made all the fans proud there defending uh, in fact, uh, the Delhi Daredevils deciding to go for a four-pronged pace attack today, uh, with um, including uh, um, Kagiso Rabado made his uh, maiden, uh, um, I mean, ma made an entry into the IPL, so actually was making his IPL debut. Uh, and also, I have to tell, they went with the four-pronged pace attack, and uh, the, the four-pronged pace attack that was a good ploy. In fact, they it helped them actually bowl out the uh, Mumbai. I mean, the Mumbai Indians were restricted to 142. And on a batting pitch like this, uh, one would have probably not given a chance to the Mumbai Indians. But what really worked out uh, was some splendid bowling from Mitchell McLennan, just Preet Bumrah, uh, the spinners Budgie, and everyone contributed. And uh, let's say that uh, Mumbai Indians, one has to really doff her caps, and Mumbai Indians continued uh, their victory run and did not disappoint their Wankhede Stadium fans. As um, even though a very stubborn partnership that happened. Uh, which was a surprising pattern in the form of Gil Sorbaro picked up his uh, highest score in T20 cricket with 44, uh, forming a brilliant uh, seventh wicket partnership when uh, at a stage the Delhi Daredevils were reduced to 21 for 6. Can you believe it? But they recovered uh, to almost, I mean, I wouldn't say a victory, but uh, definitely uh, they did a good job. But uh, one has to say uh, the, the margin in the end was only 14 runs. So Kagiso, Rabada and Maurice is doing a good job, but uh, finally, uh, thanks to Jaspreet Bumrah bowling superbly in the death over, saw to it that the Mumbai Indians defended this particular target uh, in a very, I mean, they, they defend, defended it. And as I said, there was uh, pure joy for the Wankhede Stadium Mumbai fans today, as nobody would have even expected that Mumbai Indians would have won the bat. Probably nobody would have even given a chance uh, um, to uh, Mumbai Indians and here comes Mumbai Indians really showing their flavor, show, really showing their uh, real, um, um, uh, their, their, their daring, uh, daringness or their, their real uh, brave uh, effort that they put uh, to actually win this match. Uh, really kudos to the Mumbai Indians. And as far as the West Indies versus Pakistan, uh, today was the second day. Unfortunately, 11.3 overs were possible. And, in the, uh, and um, West Indies ended up with 278 for 9 as rain completely spoiled the hopes. And there also, even the forecast uh, in the, the other days are also for rain. Uh, and it seems like one is only going to see today. But one good thing happened in the 11.3 overs for Pakistan. And that was Mohamed Amir since 2010, where he was banned, as you would all remember, and uh, this is his first five wicket haul uh, since his comeback into international cricket and that is the good thing that happened uh, and uh, uh, one has to say uh, that uh, probably uh, one is only waiting for Yunus Khan whether he can get 23 runs to become the first Pakistan uh, player in history uh, to 10,000 test runs. Now that if that could happen there are three more days left uh, and uh, but there is but the, the forecast is not good as the rain has been 
continuously uh, falling at uh, in the in Kingston in Jamaica and one does not know what's really is in store but anyways uh, we will come back to that later that is not something that is uh, at the more the, the the best thing that I'm going to look out for today is I'm going to talk about both these IPL matches uh, talking about the first match let's go on to the rising Pune Super Giants match which happened at Sunrisers Hyderabad uh, at the Maharashtra Cricket Association Stadium in Pune uh, where rising Pune Super Giants uh, uh, um, um, uh, Smith actually Steve Smith Steven Smith actually winning the match winning the toss in fact uh, and actually uh, deciding uh, to insert uh, his uh, vice captain David Warner uh, uh, who is the captain of Sunrise Hyderabad uh, to go and have a bat first uh, well it was a very slow start uh, I mean, as, as we have been seeing uh, in the Sunrise of Hyderabad they have not been very good in the power play even though their record in the IPL is good as far as victories are concerned I mean, it has to say uh, that uh, Sunrise of Hyderabad have been struggling as far as the power play overs are concerned. They are not able to add more runs, especially we are talking about openers David Warner and Shikhar Dhawan, uh, who took that time. Uh, but also one has to say that uh, uh, Rising Pune Super Giants today uh, unveiled a new spinner by the name, a 17-year-old bloke. Uh, his name is Washington Sundar. He's a right arm spinner, tall guy, right arm spinner. And he was inducted and he was immediately pressed into action by Stephen Smith, knowing that uh, Sunrise Hyderabad would be uh, getting something new to see, uh, immediately pressed him to service and I thought the Washington Sundar uh, bowled three overs for 19 runs uh, still uh, was uh, much better, I mean he was good uh, in his uh, first stint. As far as so David Warner and Daman uh, were actually had to bide that time, I mean uh, probably one would have expected more runs but it was not to be, uh, they went uh, just uh, just below seven runs per over. Uh, after that uh, it was uh, the, the breakthrough was provided by Imran Tahir who picked up Shikhar Dhawan's wicket for 30 of 29 deliveries, uh, 5 fours. Uh, David Warner contributing 43 of 40 deliveries, 3 fours and 1 six when Unakkad actually um, hit his stumps. Uh, Kane Williamson contributed 21 of 14 deliveries, 1 four, 1 six. But it was Moises Enriquez who so really provided uh, the thrust that Sunrise Hyderabad direly needed as he cracked an unbeaten 55 28 deliveries, 6 fours and 2 sixes. Huda was not on 19 of 10 balls, 2 fours and 1 six. And Sunrise Hyderabad uh, had 176 for three of their 20 overs. The bowling, Minak had one for 41 of his four. Washington Sundar making his uh, um, uh, uh, making his uh, IPL debut, three overs none for 19. Uh, ben Stokes uh, two overs for 19. Uh, Shadul Thakur was the man who really received some heavy bashing from the uh, Sunrise Hyderabad bat, especially uh, in particular it was Moises Enriquez who went after him as uh, four overs. Shardul Thakur le reached a leak of 50 runs with uh, none, uh, no wickets to his name. Daniel Tristan was the best of the bowlers, uh, bowling four overs, one for 20, and Imran Tahir, three overs, no maiden, one for 23. Rising Pune Super Giants were given a target of 177 to win from their 20 overs, and uh, they did not have a good start at all, as uh, they, in fact it was uh, the captain Stephen Smith, uh, um, not Stephen Smith, the captain uh, of the Sunrise Hyderabad, David Warner. Uh, and today, in fact, I would say the uh, uh, Sunrise of Hyderabad uh, uh, were a bit crippled because there was no Ashish Nehra, there was no Mustafizur Rahman and also Yuvraj Singh was out due to injury and Yuvraj Singh not being there uh, gave an opportunity uh, to the uh, young uh, left arm spinner Bipul Sharma and Bipul Sharma did not disappoint either in fact uh, he picked up a very early wicket uh, when he had Ajinkya Rahani caught by call for two uh, of seven deliveries so that made it 15 for one for the rising Pune Super Giants um, and Tripathi was joined in by Smith and Tripathi uh, as you know, we have seen that Tripathi is having a good strike rate and that's what he precisely did. He, go he took good toll uh, of Bhuvaneshwar Kumar's bowling. Mohamed Siraj in particular was hammered a lot and in fact, um, even Siddharth Kaul uh, was, um, uh, was getting a bit of a bashing as well. And, and what is good about uh, Tripathi is that he was very good against pace bowlers. He was hitting them for boundaries and sixes uh, plenty. Uh, at the other end, Stephen Smith uh, was also playing... Uh, a waiting role but also at the same time he was also ensuring uh, that he was not leaving any opportunity a begging uh, by uh, by thrashing uh, two back-to-back -back sixes uh, and uh, but finally uh, this partnership was doing well it had actually pushed the score on to 87 uh, that was the precise time Rashid Khan who was the best bowler today either side one could say uh, what a splendid bowling from him in fact um, the rising Pune Super Giants said after the approach, they knew uh, that uh, my Sunrise was either about Stump Khan was Rashid Khan and uh, they decided not to take any risks against him. And in the process, uh, Stephen Smith was defeated by a delivery from Rashid Khan 
as uh, Rashid Khan actually clean bowled him uh, for it and actually a ball hit the bat and then the pad and then rolled on to the stumps and Stephen Smith has gone bowled by Rashid Khan uh, for 27 of 21 deliveries, 1, 4 and 2, 6s. Uh, but then after that, that was the time, those uh, 90 and then Tripathi also left, he was run out. Uh, but after playing a very good innings of 59 of 41 deliveries, 6 fours and 3 sixes. MS Dhoni was at the crease, Ben Stokes joined him, but MS Dhoni one was saying that he definitely was struggling. Uh, he, he, one knew that you know his form has not been so good. So basically MS Dhoni we saw that he was not really middling the ball. Uh, so MS Dhoni decided not to really take any risk and just uh, get himself in and that's what he precisely did. He played himself into some good form uh, by biding his time. Uh, but then Ben Stokes was a victim of the bowling of Kumar. And uh, finally, when Ben Stokes went, and till, till such time Ben Stokes was there, um, Dhoni had taken his time. Uh, but when once Ben Stokes uh, was out of, out of the, uh, uh, was out, uh, we saw that the equation was getting much harder because uh, they needed uh, probably, uh, I would say, um, uh, probably 59 runs uh, in, the, in the next, uh, um, uh, I would say, 24 balls because... 16.1 overs, uh, the score stood at, uh, this is the 17th over basically, so basically you can say like 23 balls were left and in 23 balls, uh, the, um, the rising Punisha Pajans had to get 59 runs, uh, but the hope was there because uh, Dhoni was the great, but again, uh, but that was the uh, time Dhoni started and Dhoni started in such a fashion that he targeted uh, Bhuvaneshwar Kumar in particular uh, with uh, taking uh, plenty of runs for him to actually spoil his bowling figures. And also, uh, Mohamed Siraj uh, went for plenty from the MS Dhoni's bat. And suddenly there was a real clattering uh, of boundaries and sixes coming in from Dhoni's bat. And as I said, Dhoni in the final onslaught uh, really, really hit it big. And also started middling the ball uh, with, uh, with, um, with great perfection. And Manoj Tiwari uh, was also giving him good company by stroking boundaries. But finally... Um, even though they, they, they took a lot of runs, the match went down to the wire. In the last over, they required 11 runs. Uh, and the very first ball, Siddharth Kaul was given the, uh, Siddharth Kaul, the most costliest bowler, uh, was given the responsibility of bowling. And the very first ball, Manoj Tiwari um, hit a big shot uh, and he was grasped by Rashid Khan in the deep. Uh, so that happened. And after that, uh, finally, it was some good bowling from Siddharth Call uh, by bowling some good Yorkers and all. But um, when it came to the final ball, uh, it was just two runs required for Mahendra Singh Dhoni uh, to take the rising Pune Super Giants to victory. Uh, and the final ball was stroke for a boundary, a sweet boundary by Dhoni uh, to bring an end to the match with the rising Pune Super Giants uh, winning the match by six wickets. As far as the bowling was concerned, so Mahendra Singh Dhoni uh, getting himself into some good form uh, with, a, uh, with a wonderful innings, uh, a very well-paced innings, one could say. Not out on 61 of 34 deliveries, 5 fours and 3 sixes. Tiwari was not on 17 of 8 balls, 3 fours. And as far as the bowling was concerned, uh, my Bune Shukmar, 4 overs, got uh, his bowling um, analysis was good till such time Dhoni was there. Once Dhoni really decided to climb into him, uh, Kumar lost it. Four overs, one for 39. Bipul Sharma, four overs, one for 30. Bowl well. Mohamed Siddharth, four overs for 42. Siddharth Kaul, as I said, was the most costliest of the. But I still thought he bowled a good final over to Mahendra Singh Dhoni. Three overs for 45. Rashid Khan, the pick of the ballers today, four overs, one for 79. And Moise is on wickets, one over for four runs. And that was it. The rising Pune Super Giants gradually rising, I would say, as they took this victory uh, over a very, very powerful uh, uh, team, Sunrisers Hyderabad, and they would be very happy with this effort. Uh, as far as the next match is concerned, uh, which is the match which you're talking about in the Mumbai Indians, uh, which was at the Wankhede Stadium in Mumbai, which was absolutely packed to capacity, uh, and it was the, uh, the, the toss was actually uh, won by the Delhi Daredevils, uh, and uh, Delhi Daredevils decided... Uh, that it would be, they, Delhi Daredevils decided, uh, they decided to go for a four-pronged pace attack today, which consisted of Kagiswar Abada making his IPL debut, Chris Morris, Zahir Khan, the captain, and Peter, and, um, and uh, also Patrick Cummings, and uh, then they have Amit Mishra, the leggy, also bowled wonderfully well. So Mumbai Indians uh, started their uh, process here, uh, and Mumbai Indians, well, uh, the, the, it started with Butler actually, hitting a six of the bowling of, uh, 
of Rabada. And Rabada, as I said, was making his IPL debut, but Rabada was definitely uh, on the mark. He was uh, really hitting a, a good line, one could say, right from the beginning. Uh, and party today, but then Rabada got uh, one a beautiful Yorker. Uh, which was pitched into the uh, crease, into the popping crease there. And Pati Patel uh, was clean bowled for 8 of 11 deliveries, 1-4. And then Nitish Rana, who, uh, who is a big draw as far as the Mumbai Indians are concerned. But Josh Butler, in fact, Nitish Rana, actually, Josh Butler was uh, doing well. He was looking good uh, with a knock of 28 of 18 deliveries, 3 fours and 2 six. But Nitish Rana actually pushed the ball um, into the offside and called uh, Butler across for a single. Uh, but uh, Samson uh, was pretty sharp as he actually uh, hit the stumps and Butler was gone for 28. That was a big blow. And then Nitesh Rana himself, um, um, one, one was really waiting to see whether Nitesh Rana uh, could probably, you know, he has been so consistent. Uh, but this was one of those instances where Nitesh Rana uh, was out as uh, he tried to actually club a delivery from Cummins uh, over the fence, I reckon. And Anderson, uh, just at the edge of the boundary, uh, picked up the catch. And Nitesh Rana was gone for 8 of 9 deliveries with 1-4. Uh, Rohit Sharma uh, once again. And then the Mumbai Indians slowly started slumping at the time. And Amit Mishra came into the mix. And Amit Mishra. And then we saw Kagiso Rabada bowl well. Morris bowled the one. Zahir Khan also bowled. And then uh, Patrick Cummins was very, very economical as well. And Amit Mishra uh, came in and really, really uh, spoiled the uh, plans for Mumbai as he actually... Uh, Rahul Sharma now, as you know, in the IPL, uh, the, I mean, one does not know. I mean, uh, majority of times he has been out to a spinner and especially to a leg spinner as uh, Rohit Sharma tried to pull a delivery from Mishra and it ended up in the hands of Cummins. And he was gone for five, uh, which made the score 60 for four uh, in the ninth over, uh, Rohit Sharma. After that, it was Kiran Pollard uh, in the middle uh, along with Pandya. And Kiran Pollard, let me tell you, uh, was really struggling. He was not able to get the bat on to the ball, was not able to get the runs, and uh, they had to be a bit watchful as uh, the Delhi Daredevils uh, bowlers were doing a good job to reduce the Mumbai Mumbai Indians uh, to 60 for 4 in the ninth over. Now, it was uh, Kiran Pollard and Kunal Pandya at the crease. Uh, Kunal Pandya was uh, just trying to give company to Pollard, and they knew, the, and, and runs were not easy to come by. I mean, they had to uh, really also see to it that, you know, the situation was such... Uh, that there was no point in really going for some big strokes, uh, even though this pitch was good for batting. Uh, and then Mishra was really turning it on. He was bowling deliveries, uh, which was really turning. And he was also uh, keeping the batsmen very quiet, not giving them any liberties, absolutely. Uh, but as this was going on, Kiran Pollard and uh, um, uh, Krunal Pandya were just building it up. Uh, they knew that uh, they, could, uh, they, di they did have wickets in hand at the time. Uh, and uh, they, they, they managed to get 24 runs uh, by push the score on to 84. Uh, that was the time uh, my Mishra once again picked it up as Kural Pandya uh, was um, trying to hit Mishra. In fact, he was trying to glide him down uh, the third man region. And uh, I thought Rishabh Pant uh, picked up a good catch. He was gone for 17 of 16 dollars with 1 4. Uh, after that, uh, we saw Hardik Pandya come in, but Pollard, after making um, uh, 26 of 29 balls with 4 4, fell a victim. Uh, to the bowling of Cummins and also Kiran Pollard, as I said, uh, also uh, was uh, really uh, all at sea against Amit Mishra. He was not really able to uh, really connect. And then uh, we saw um, um, uh, Hardik Pandya come in. Uh, he, ma he, made, he did his bet. He, he, uh, he hit uh, two big sixes in his knock of 24 of 23 balls. Harbhajan Singh ran out for two. Uh, and Johnson uh, today played. Mitchell Johnson was also playing, not on seven. 142 for eight was what uh, Mumbai. So Delhi Daredevils had good, done a good job and Mumbai Indians definitely, definitely having a below par score of 142. Uh, Rabada on his um, IPL debut picked up his maiden, interna maiden wicket in IPL. Four overs went for 30. Uh, Chris Morris four overs went for 33. Uh, Khan, uh, Zahid Khan four overs for 36. And Zahid Khan, let me also uh, have a word that Zahid Khan had a tremendous captaincy. His captaincy was superb. Amit Mishra, brilliant. Four overs, 102 for 80. Four overs, no made in 220. As far as Delhi Daredevils are concerned, uh, the Delhi Daredevils were put under the cosh right away. Uh, boy, uh, it, it all started off in a very, very bad manner. Aditya Tare uh, was run out for not uh, brilliant uh, fielding by Hardik Pandya. In one fell swoop, he hit the stumps. Uh, after that, we saw uh, uh, Sanju Samson. McLennan uh, really turned it on as he picked up Sanju Samson's wicket, caught by Sharma for nine, six balls, two fours. And then Shreya Sire uh, was consumed by McLennan as uh, uh, he was uh, caught by Patel, Pati Patel, trying to 
hit a shot. He was caught behind, and then the big wicket fell when McLennan actually trapped uh, Corey Anderson, LBW for not, and then Karun Nair who was staying there. In fact, Rishabh Pant uh, was out for a blob, continuing his poor form the Delhi in this for the Delhi Daredevils, as it was just with Bumrah to pick up his wicket uh, for not, and then Karun Nair who was staying there. Uh, playing in an unconvincing manner uh, was uh, clean bowled by Hardik Pandya for five uh, to leave the Delhi Daredevils innings in dire straits at 24 for six in the seventh over, and there was a mountain to climb for them. But uh, there was a uh, there was a very very uh, a peculiar promotion being done. One was probably thinking that Chris Morris will be coming, and one was seeing Chris uh, Kadisha Rabada into the scene, and uh, uh, probably they they knew that Kadisha Rabada had something in him. And he definitely did. He stayed there. Uh, he did not try to go and hit the, um, try to have a whack or something of that sort. He decided to stay at the wicket, but uh, he, he was very equal to the task. And then he got, and then Chris Morris was there with him. And what a partnership for 24 for six, where Delhi Devil Devils, nobody would have even given a, an iota of a chance. Uh, here comes a brilliant partnership uh, from 24. Uh, it's it's a 91 run partnership that happened between Kajishwar Bharo pick up his uh, pick up his uh, maiden uh, I would say sorry his pick up his highest uh, T20 score uh, in international cricket of 44 of 39 balls four fours of one six Morris making 52 and in the end um, I mean it was probably looking it, it was uh, probably it was uh, probably the required 10 runs per over and the equation was getting further and further. Uh, but uh, it was also uh, some very good bowling from everybody. Uh, McLennan was the one amongst the wickets. Jasprit Bumrah did it in the death overs. Um, and every bowler contributed. Harbhajan Singh did a good job. Mitchell Johnson uh, on his, in his first game in the IPL doing a wonderful job. And then Rabada was uh, bowled by Bumrah for 44 of 39 deliveries. Uh, and Morris uh, tried his bet. But again, Bumrah was simply superb. Mitchell McLennan on the other hand was excellent. And uh, and Chris Morris uh, was not out on 52 or 41 deliveries. Uh, he could not take them to the um, to, to, uh, over the finishing line, uh, and it was all over thanks to uh, the good death overs bowling from uh, McLenahan, um, uh, Bumrah, and also in the end Hardik Pandya in the final over uh, when they required 24 runs. As far as the ball, so so that was the victory. As I said, this was a victory. It would have been a dream victory for Mumbai. They would have never expected that they would have won this match, defending a score of 142. So kudos to the Mumbai team. Uh, Mitchell Johnson and so um, Mumbai continuing their victorious march in this Indian Premier League 2017. Johnson four overs no made a number for 23. McLean and uh, brilliant four overs no made in three for 24. Just played Bumbra excellent four overs no made in 21 runs and two wickets. Hardik Pandya three overs for 23. Bajan, Harbhajan Singh, 4 overs, none for 26, and Pandya, 1 for 8. And I'm not going to go into the West Indies, Pakistan, uh, due to lack of time. Uh, as I said, Mohamed Ami taking 5 weeks, all rain stopping play, 278 for 9, uh, with um, uh, Jason Holder batting on 55. Uh, thanks for your company and thanks for watching Cricket Happenings, dear fans and subscribers. Uh, it will be your host, Ram, returning back to you and speaking to you tomorrow on my next Cricket Happening show. Uh, and uh, till such time that happens, this is your host, Ram, signing off.